Uh, but, you know, I think you got to do something like that and know that you're going to get those funny comments back. So, oh, sure. Yeah, yeah you look like you had fun with Nothing it. Nothing bothers me. We'll see on this Ask the Married Guy thing. What's this all about? All right. Well, we usually on Fridays do Ask the Guy, and it's a platform for single ladies to ask a single, unattached guy, whatever. I mean, sometimes it gets a little risque, but we always have fun with it. So we thought we're going to have a married guy. Let's do Ask the married guy. So we've got a couple of questions for you. Okay. Uh, emailed and Facebooked into us. So, okay, this is an easy one. Why do you leave the toilet seat up? Do you do this in your house? Okay, I, I, I have to preface that. Um, oh, oh, see, my, see my what wife, happened was. When, when, it was, when it was just me and my two sons before we had the, the girl, uh, the daughter, uh, my wife uh, taught the boys in the house that you're going to sit down to go potty. Oh, okay? what? So, yeah, sit down to go potty right. because, and, and she'll come to us now and, you know, if there's some splashing. <laughs> She'll come and say, who peed standing up? Someone's peeing standing up. Now, now, as far as men leaving the toilet seat up, why do we do it? Uh, because we use it most of the time up. Now, I understand you use it all of the down, time yeah. down. Um, but why? who made the rule that we have to lift up to go to the bathroom instead of you having to put it down to go to the bathroom? Well, because there's a cover on it. Okay. And they wouldn't make a cover if it wasn't meant to be down. Okay. So maybe you should have take that up with the toilet seat company, wherever that is. I guess so. We're in such a hurry to change the empty toilet paper roll after going to the bathroom, we forget <laughs> oh, to put the seat down. Okay. We know that's not true. We'll see if there's a question about why don't you ever change the toilet paper. Okay, let's see what we've got up next. Why do you have to have the TV on 24-7 and on the loudest volume possible? I think this is like, I mean, I could have submitted this. Because uh, this is my husband. I, I don't know if this is all guys, but I hate silence. I can't stand <laughs> silence. I need noise around me. And I don't know if... But it, that what, much noise? Uh, like, does the volume have to be on, like, max? Well, here's the deal. If there's other things going on in the house, you can't hear, you know, the... the the finite details of what's going on in the game. So you need it loud in order to hear. And if, if the rest of the house was quiet, we wouldn't have to have it so loud. So if you, if you want to live your life around the TV, you have to put up with it. Being all loud. right. All right. Well, let's see what else we've got here. So should couples take all their vacations together or is it healthy to have some apart time? Oh, boy, that's a good question. I, I have three categories of vacation. One, one is the family vacation, which you, if anyone knows, you need a vacation after the family vacation. Oh, You're yeah, exhausted with the kids. The other one is one that I take with my buddies, like to the Super Bowl or a baseball game or something, that my wife has no desire to go to. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and then the other one is just my wife and I going on vacation. So, so if, if your alone vacation means doing something that you want to do without your husband, I'm, I'm all for it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's good. That's a healthy way to separate that out. Well, I know that we had more submitted, but we don't have time to get to them right now. So Another time. So another time. You'll have to come back and we'll have to do it again. Okay. All right. Well, thanks for coming today. It was a lot of fun. I hope Thank you enjoyed you. it. I even, did. Even though it was wedding stuff. Uh, coming up tomorrow, we've got Kathy Yeager back. Uh, wedding speech bloopers. Those are all.